April is Autism Acceptance Month, and tonight the Utah Jazz are kicking off a very special week-long campaign initiated by one of their own. Across the NBA, you're going to see head coaches tonight through April 7th wearing custom kicks that pay tribute to autism acceptance. You can see the kicks right there. This is a campaign started by Utah Jazz assistant coach Scott Morrison. He and his wife Suzanne have a young son named Max with autism. Suzanne told me earlier today that this has been an isolating journey and so hard to navigate for so many families. So they started to the Max Foundation to give support to other families. Scott's love of sneakers led to the sneaker campaign. The colorful custom Nikes with autism themes that you can see there, specially designed by local artists, by the way, Jonathan Miller. And I did have a chance to interview the Morrisons today. They say the support is amazing and a big step towards inclusion. I mean, it means a lot. Um, just that our colleagues and, and people in our industry would be willing to step up and help for a cause that's specific to us, but not necessarily to them. Uh, even though there are a lot of coaches and uh, people in the league that have autistic kids. Um, I think we're at a point now where awareness is kind of, I think we're a lot more aware as a society, as a community. Um, I think now it's to a point where we really have to kind of dig deep and have a better understanding, open your heart, open your mind to the various ways that autism can present. Yeah, and I love what she said there. Now, head coach Hill, Will Hardy, of course, tonight will be wearing the special kicks. So the campaign runs through April 7th. Then the shoes, they'll be signed by the coaches who wore them, auctioned off, and there's gonna be more information on that auction to come. But just imagine seeing your vision come to life, the emotions that come with that. And we got a first look into the emotions that Scott felt when the two, the Mac shoes uh, were first done. Take a listen. Um, to be honest, a little bit emotional, um, just to see kind of the idea come to fruition and, and also grateful for everyone that's been helping with it. It's just uh, it's very overwhelming and, and, uh, and, and touching and uh, just have to make sure that I don't break down when uh, I see the shoes on the court because it's, uh, it's going to be close. Yeah, that, that would it's really nice. be a really emotional moment tonight. So that full interview, by the way, is on our KTV YouTube page. And another thing I do want to add is that they did talk through that interview that you can go check out on the support that they've received here in Utah alone. And they even received support from a former Jasmine, Joe Ingalls, and his wife Renee, who also have a son with autism. So great community here in Utah coming together and across the NBA to do good.